When a catastrophic fire in Matanzas threatened Cuba's fuel supply, other countries rushed to help. Mexico and Venezuela sent 20 planes, over 100 specialists, two fireboats, and critical supplies. Nicaragua, Colombia, Bolivia, Chile, Russia, and China also offered to send aid. What did the world's most powerful country provide Cuba? A phone call. A top Cuban official says the U.S. gave technical advice over the phone. Nothing more was offered. No equipment, no supplies, no firefighting personnel. The country that is in the best position to be able to respond to this time, type of disaster merely said that they were waiting and watching. The State Department says the U.S. hasn't helped more because Cuba hasn't sent a formal request. President Biden doesn't need to wait for any Cuban request. The lack of U.S. support has sparked outrage in the U.S. and in Cuba. En ese momento se necesitaba ayuda ahí, material, y no, y no, no, no se hizo. In the U.S., Cuban Americans, grassroots groups, and members of Congress have urged Biden to take action. The real harm and impediment is the embargo, are the U.S. sanctions that make it impossible to be able to actually provide real humanitarian assistance, including for individuals and organizations that want to be able to do so. The U.S. Embassy tweeted, U.S. law authorizes U.S. entities and organizations to provide disaster relief and response in Cuba. This tweet was misleading because they don't mention the many things that the president could do to dismantle sanctions and be in solidarity with the Cuban people at this moment of pain and suffering. It can take weeks or months to send humanitarian aid to Cuba due to U.S. government red tape. And U.S. sanctions cause crowdfunding and payment platforms to block users from donating to Cuba. The moment that you try to donate on the majority of the fundraising platforms, anytime the word Cuba is mentioned in association, with a donation, that transaction is automatically paralyzed and stopped. Your account may be investigated, you may be investigated. The U.S. Bureau for Humanitarian Assistance responds annually to dozens of natural disasters and complex crises in over 70 countries. But it has made no statement about the potential environmental disaster just 90 miles from the U.S. Cuba is a, uh, unfortunately, a failed state. Cuba's first responders might beg to differ. Hundreds of Cuban doctors, firefighters, and other first responders, all state workers, were on the front lines of the Matanzas fire. But their hands have been tied with U.S. sanctions restricting Cuba's access to resources. These same sanctions have also contributed to a severe fuel crisis. Daily blackouts have become common across the island. And shortages of increasingly costly fuel resources have strained Cuba's power plants. Trump cut off Cuba from the international financial system by relisting it as a state sponsor of terrorism. He also sanctioned Cuba's main energy source, Venezuela, drastically reducing fuel imports. We are adding sanctions. Little has changed under Biden. He has embraced Trump's Cold War era policy, maintaining and even intensifying sanctions. Biden had the opportunity to change the sanctions and to take into account the burden of the pandemic, and he didn't do it.